Hey, this is Matt from Invest Squad. Today is Monday, March 15, 2021. And this morning we saw pretty flat opens. We had uh, mixed directions in a couple of the indices, but they were pretty flat. And we were looking at a pattern based upon the RSI being above 95 on the two day reading, which is an overbought type of reading. Uh, after that reading, we saw this flat open. And since then, uh, we saw a strong test lower that found buyers and we have recovered um, this afternoon. So if we just look at the chart here in the top left, this is the S&P. Uh, you can see we opened fairly flat uh, this morning. We consolidated a little bit, had a break lower that was bought aggressively, and we're trading back towards the open. So we're going to test this type of pattern and see what has happened historically as we approach the close. So let me set this up at all four instruments. The setup's gonna be based upon entering the market long at 3 p.m. Eastern time, exiting at the close, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. Now for opening filters, I'm normally doing gap up or gap down, but since the gap was so small today, I'm just gonna say we opened within the prior day range and not add gap up or gap down. Next, I'm gonna go into the post open filters, and this is where I can say that the market sold off and recovered. So the way that I'm gonna describe that is I'm simply gonna say that the open was in the top half of the intraday range, and we're currently trading in the top half of the intraday range. So if I do equals here next to close in the top half of the intraday range, that means the 3 p.m. price is in the top 50% of the range, and then I've also got the open there as well. So uh, there is a lower wick forming on the daily candle of at least 50% of the day's range. All right, next I'm gonna go to the indicator section and add that same two-day RSI pattern that we looked at this morning and then put it in a bullish environment above a 10 above 200 day simple moving average and click view results. And here we go. These are the results of going long at 3 p.m. Eastern time exiting at the close, which is 415 when you open within the prior day range following a two day RSI reading of greater than 95. And then once it is three o'clock, the open is in the top 50% of the range as well as the three o'clock price. So you've got at least 50% below uh, the open and below the 3 p.m. price as a daily range amount. This is taking place in a bullish market environment. Historically, 63 samples for the S&P, 70 in the NASDAQ, 58 in the Dow, and 49 in the Russell. And if we look at the win rates on these, these are quite a bit stronger than what we saw at the open. The open had mixed numbers, uh, some a little weak, some just slightly favored. Uh, but here we're seeing a couple strong numbers with the S&P at 60%, the NASDAQ at 66%. The Dow's pretty neutral at 52%, and the Russell mildly favored at 55%. So all of those are at least neutral, and a couple of them are leaning towards the bullish side here, historically speaking. If we look at the average win to average loss, they're fairly similar in size there for the S&P. The NASDAQ, the average wind's a little bit bigger. They're pretty similar in size for uh, the Dow and the Russell, though. So overall, I'm not seeing a big difference between average wind and average loss. But the wind rates on the S&P and the NASDAQ have been a little bit stronger as we approach the close uh, with this pattern that is currently developing. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today, and we will see you next time.